I see you've taken down all the pictures of Rex. Well, I'm uh, sorry if that offends you, Phyllis, but I didn't want Orson to feel uncomfortable in his new home. I see. You're trying to be considerate of your husband's feelings. Well, I'm glad that you're at least trying to get it right second time around. Still, it must be awfully hard on Danielle and Andrew to have their father's face banished from their own home. He wasn't banished. By the way, where, where's Danielle? She's uh, in boarding school in Switzerland. Switzerland? Is it asking too much to be told what continent my granddaughter is on? You are keeping my grandchildren from me, and I don't know why. I'm going to mingle. Every time I start a chat, you walk away. I mean, if you don't want to talk to me, why did you invite me? It's a surprise party, you daft woman. What makes you think I had a hand in the guest list? So, you don't want me here? Oh, for God's sakes, Phyllis, it's not as if we got along when Rex was alive. What did I ever do to you but try to treat you like a daughter? I even gave you my mother's sable coat. You hated your mother. But I love that coat. Then I'll give it back to you. No, you keep it as a reminder of how hard I tried to make you like me. Oh, are you leaving already? I'm sorry, dear. But your mother has made it impossible for me to stay. Where does she keep my sable coat? Probably in her bedroom closet. Where is she going? She asked me where your fur coat was. And you, and you told her? I guess you won't be needing the breast pump I bought you.